Las Vegas Convention Center is huge. It can take half an hour to walk across it. However, there's a new way to get around. Tunnels with Teslas in them. This is what Elon Musk claims is the future of transport. So we are here in Las Vegas to check it out. The station looks like a cross between a taxi rank and a subway. I've never been here before and it's very pleasant. It kind of feels quite cool. But the most obvious thing that you notice is that there aren't fumes here. And you kind of realize first off that this would absolutely not be possible without electric cars. But this isn't quite what Elon Musk had envisaged when he created the boring company. Elon Musk's initial idea was incredibly ambitious, that people in Teslas would be transported into this huge network of tunnels and they'd be transported at more than 100 miles an hour using its autonomous features. This emphatically isn't that. For one, as you can see, these aren't robots driving these cars, these are real humans. Secondly, they're not going at 100 miles an hour, not even close. They might be going at 30 miles an hour, and they're certainly not being transported from above. They're actually just going around what is effectively quite a small loop. However, even though this is pretty far away from what Elon Musk said he wanted to create, many people at CES loved it. Excuse me, madam, I'm from the BBC. We're just asking people what they thought about the loop just now. Oh, I love it. You loved it? Really cool. Yeah? How much would you give out of 10? I can't. Well, not quite everyone. This is like the classic meme of like, oh, let's reduce the number of drivers by linking them together and make it more efficient by putting it on a steel wheel and level loading platforms and they're just reinventing the subway. There's also a much more fundamental question, which is, is this actually a good idea? If you look at the number of Teslas here that are all being driven by expensive humans, it kind of begs the question, why not just use a train? We didn't want to just be able to move people around our campus in an efficient way. We wanted them to kind of have a smile on their face at the end of the day. And so when you see the lights in the tunnel and the energy of the music, and um, there's a big love for Teslas, um, that really came together in an exciting way. And to be fair, this kind of does work, at least for a Las Vegas convention center. It's fun and a bit different. But is this really going to revolutionize transport? The Boring Company had announced projects in LA and Baltimore and Washington. However, these projects appear to have disappeared from the company's website. Las Vegas, however, does have plans to work with The Boring Company to create a huge tunnel network that would span central Las Vegas. Right now, there's upwards of 65 miles of underground tunnels that are planned for as far north as downtown Las Vegas, through the Las Vegas Strip, and as far south as Allegiant Stadium. But will this actually happen? The Boring Company delivered on their promise to us. They worked collaboratively with us and they delivered on what we asked of them. And we know the future of being autonomous is that last piece of the puzzle and we're patiently waiting for it. Over CES, the Boring Company claimed nearly 100,000 people used the loop. That's a lot. And there's hope the cars will soon be autonomous too. However, its real test will be in the years to come. Can it go from a gimmicky convention center ride to a genuine travel game changer? Many will be watching here in Las Vegas to see whether this is yet more Elon Musk hype or something genuinely important. And when it comes to Elon Musk, it's often hard to tell which that is.